and we are rolling. Hey, what's up guys? Landon here for, well, story I've been wanting to tell you guys for a while now. It's super dark in here. Hello, light, do your job. But yeah, this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while. It's the story about how I got started in music. Damn, it's awkward now. <laughs> okay, bad transition. Okay, so, one day, me and Hunter, you know, my brother, he's not here. I'm just pointing to his bed because that's where he always is. Well, we just sat there listening to Bon Jovi like we used to, because I was super into Bon Jovi. And like, one day we just asked our dad, hey, can we learn how to play guitar from you? And he's like, sure. You just had to stay committed. Spoiler alert, we didn't. But yeah, and then we just, dad taught us a few chords, and we were nowhere near Richie Sambora level of playing guitar. But we still loved, well, Hunter stopped. I still loved it, but I remember the first chord I learned was actually an E minor. I feel old. <laughs> but yeah. So, then one day we went to our little New Braunfels guitar store and bought me my first little acoustic guitar. And I learned more chords on that. And then I remember one day we were in the valley going to get dinner. My aunt and uncle actually made me a bet for $100 because of my shirt. I had said, I'll be quiet for $100. We'll stay awesome for free. But we made a bet that I couldn't stay quiet the whole ride for a hundred bucks. I actually did. And then a few months later, it was my grandfather's birthday, they surprised me with a Fender electric guitar. It was black, orange, and white. Well, I think, yeah, the pick guard was white. And I loved playing that thing. Like, it was my life. And like, I also brought the acoustic, my first acoustic guitar that my dad had bought me then to there but then my cousin actually broke one of the strings we never got changed so I stick so I stuck to playing the fender which I had dubbed fender because that's what it said I thought it was the name of it kind of reminded me of fender from robots so me and fender were I inseparable but skip forward a few months again and if yeah something sad happened we were coming home one day to find my mom's jewelry including my dad's acoustic guitar, Fender, and my first guitar, stolen. Right off the stand. I was devastated, of course. My dad was pissed. And, yeah. And then, I think another time jump, a few months later, my, my aunt's buddy named, I'm not going to name him, let's call him... Let's call him Guitar Guy. So Guitar Guy actually gave me his Fender, or I think it was a Stratocaster actually, that looked ex almost a lot like Fender. So I loved that thing immediately, and she just, we were inseparable too. But then one day, actually, I didn't feel like practicing. So my dad said, if you don't go up there and practice, you can't, I'm done teaching you. And I'm like, mm. Well, shit, that happened. <laughs> and yeah, I stopped playing guitar for years. And then zoom in my feet a couple of months ago. Uh, I asked my dad, hey, can you teach me guitar? And that story actually has deeper meaning to it, which I will get into later. Like, long story short, me and my friend had a fallout. I wanted something to distract myself from thinking about it too much. Newsflash, it didn't work. I still thought about it a lot. Me and her are good now. We're, she's still my best friend. <laughs> but yeah, I asked my dad, hey, can I learn how to play guitar from you? Because he had recently gotten back into playing guitar too. And our neighbors bought him a guitar. So he's like, sure. Then one day he called me down, taught me a few chords, and I immediately started playing that guitar nonstop. I remember recording myself playing, what's it called, Dancing in the Dark for the first time. It sucked. I deleted that video. <laughs> and yeah, just... My dad taught me how to play guitar on this strong wind. Yeah, strong. And I named her Bailey. Because I thought it was a pretty name for my first guitar of coming back into guitar playing. So me and Bailey were inseparable for... We're still inseparable. Except when dad's practicing for gigs. But then a few months later there's a lot of time jumps. A few months later, we were actually in a small music store. 
near the forums, near where we live. And I came, we were just playing guitars, looking around, having fun in general. Then I came across this, this really cool looking guitar. It was an Ibanez acoustic. I'm like, hey, I didn't know Ibanez made acoustic guitars. And my dad's like, yeah, they do. <laughs> so I picked it up, I started playing it, and it was amazing. I loved that guitar. Like, I loved it. I loved it so much that after one time playing it, my dad offered to put it on layaway for me. And we'd make payment to fucking light. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> my dad offered to, to put it on, yeah, I can't speak. My dad offered to put it on layaway. And we made payments, and when we're done, I'd have the guitar. And sooner or later, a few months later, a, few, a couple months actually, we got Vi. And yeah, me and her have been inseparable. Some of me and Bailey. But yeah, now I play guitar like all the time, seriously. And st I write songs now. And to think it all started with one question for me and my brother. And I never forget this story. I never forget the guitars that got stolen. I never forget the first chord I learned. It was fun. And it all started with me and my brother wanting to play guitar like Richie Sambora. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm still nowhere near that. So, <clears throat> that's the end of the story. Another bad transition. I hope, I hope you like the video, guys. I really do. Stop going dark. <laughs> uh. Okay, anyways, sorry about the light, see, anyways, I hope you like the story, it's something I've been wanting to tell you guys forever, because I love music, I'm a musical guy, and I hope to pick up more instruments too, learn more songs, do more covers, wonk, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you liked it guys, and I'll see you in the next video, bye. <laughs>